Welcome to Chandwell. My name's Michael and I'm about to start a project which will see me fill in these two holes on my N-gauge inner city layout set in 1993. This is Station Road, Chandwell. A run-down, dreary and depressing street of takeaways, junk shops and off-licences that greets weary travellers arriving from nicer places at the station at the top of the hill. Join me then for a new series, Building Station Road Part 1, The Vision. I think it's really important to have a vision before starting a build like this and then to stick to that vision and use it as a guide throughout the entire build from start to finish. I have childhood memories of walking down Parkgate in Darlington after arriving at the station there. This is exactly the kind of street that I'm looking for with Station Road. Boarded up yet still open news agents with faded signage, bars on all of the windows, mysterious junk shops, once grand buildings with worn out modern shop fronts, takeaways with classy names. I'm thinking Chandwell Best Kebab and maybe even a CFC, a Chandwell Fried Chicken. Shrubbery growing out of the gutters, a model shop and how Chandwell is this? <laughs> this is just terrifying. Parkgate Chambers sums it up all nicely. Beautiful buildings which have fallen on sadder times. So with that overall atmosphere in mind, I needed to find some suitable inspiration in Yorkshire for Station Road. I decided on the first set actually over a year ago. These buildings are on Otley Road in Shipley and they are fascinating. It's a short terrace comprising a pub and a couple of restaurants. I love the seemingly random tall tower on the right, once part of a brewery I think. The Chandwell-esque windows above Rajput. The curved walls, bow windows and multi-stepped frontage of the pub and the way the guttering just crosses the upstairs windows without a care in the world. There are multiple smaller buildings all stuffed in behind in a higgledy-piggledy arrangement and that will add even more interest. Station Road ascends from the mini roundabout to the station which means that the buildings in Chandwell will be stepped to match the rise of the ground. I measured this end at 26mm and this one is 40 I used the free drawing application Inkscape to design all of my buildings. The very first thing I did was to draw a shape that matches the profile of the street. I then used a combination of Google Street View, measurements from Google Maps, my own photos and simple guesswork to roughly draw in the four main parts of the street as simple rectangles. So this gave me the width of the buildings near enough and now I was good to go. I'm not aiming for millimetre perfect rendition but I do want to get it near enough. I couldn't find any accurate drawings of the prototype so I decided I'd have to use the brick counting method for this one. The pub has nicely defined stonework and you can see that the door is 8 courses high plus about 2 thirds of a course for this black band. I drew a stack of 8 and 2 thirds rectangles in Inkscape and sized it to match the doorway that I'd used in my build of the Earl Chandwell last year. With this basic measurement I then stacked more on top. I used simple lines to arrange the main elements of the building's frontage. I used simple guesswork for the widths, just arranged things in a way that made them look about right. They can always be adjusted later. With the first part done, I repeated, again using bricks, guesswork and gut feeling. With the drawing complete, I simply coloured it in in white, set the lines to dark grey and printed it out onto basic copier paper. That brings the total cost of Station Road to 0.7 pence so far and I've spent about four hours doing the research, the measuring and the drawing. I quickly cut it out and stood it in place on the layout. It's immediately obvious what a big difference it will be to have the buildings along here at long last. I'm already excited about the filming opportunities. I think I'm on the right lines and my choice seems to be a good one. I'll be working up the hill next and looking for inspiration for the next buildings. Let me know in the comments of this video. Would you prefer the next one to be more in depth about how I choose a prototype? or more about how I use Inkscape to do the drawing. Here's a look at the last time I discussed putting a street down the front of the layout. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked this episode and if you're looking forward to the series as much as I am. So until the next one then, thanks for watching, take care and I'll see you next time.